let's discuss sports. We are getting and we have had a few cases in sports tech, in particular in hockey. But let's discuss on the example of hockey uh, how to track a puck. Uh, and we need to touch uh, the subject, you know, sometimes even philosophical subject. What does it mean to track? For example, I see the picture, but I have no idea where the puck is. So in order to track it, you need to be able to measure the location in one way or another, some physical methods. Let's not discuss some hypothetical uh, neutrino-based uh, methods that would be propagating through the materials like Earth, etc., etc. Uh, let's discuss something reasonably possible. So we are using radio for precise clock synchronization and ultrasound for positioning. So even before starting discussing uh, the positioning or the, the pack, which I don't see where, where it is, must be able to, uh, to receive or transmit signal from the pack, ultrasound signal from the pack to, okay, to, to the station beacons, wherever they are placed. Uh, again, I don't know where it is, but imagine that it is there and it was already caught. So the pack is somewhere there. So, and we want to track it or, for example, imagine that we tracked it before. But now when it's inside, the ultrasound must go out somewhere. Let's make it thicker. Somewhere and being sensed by the station beacons. For example, just for example, placed one there, one there, one there. But the ultrasound won't be able to go out uh, from whatever, from the glove of the goalkeeper. Um, let's imagine that in instead of ultrasound, we are using ultrawide band. Ultrawide band would be able to come through radio transparent materials, uh, but not without uh, dis distortion in the wave. Uh, for example, uh, if it's inside the fist already, uh, then the fist would, uh, uh, and the radio wave coming uh, out wouldn't be propagating in the air or a vacuum, so their delay will be different. So in fact, the measured location will be not here, for example, but somewhere there, or there, or there. Uh, in some other cases, like optical tracking, it's even worse than ultrasound because if it's optically not visible, then there's no way you can determine the location. You can, you can guess the location based on, uh, let's say, previous location. But as soon as it's grabbed and locked, there is no way you can, uh, you can determine it. But now let's imagine a previous situation when the pack was, for example, somewhere there. Okay, you, you place the station beacons there on the ceiling and then the mobile beacon is uh, somewhere inside the pack. Possible? Yes, possible. Good? Yeah, it, it would work pretty well. So you would need to install the microphones, the sensing microphone on the top, on the left, of course, uh, on the top and on the bottom, because when it's on the bottom, again, the same story, you will not be able to hear the sound. On the top, you can. Uh, it must be, of course, uh, well protected against uh, ice against water against dust possible doable uh, but let's imagine now that the pack would be somewhere i don't know somewhere there and the still mobile beacon inside the pack and then the situation is worse and the station beacons are there so it means that the ultrasound must go through all this even if, for example, you are not limited on budget, even if you installed many um, uh, beacons around, um, those beacons will be still obstructed by, you know, by, by such a dense uh, number of players. You see, because they, they, they nearly certain will obstruct it. So only, only when the puck will be flying somewhere um, openly, then it's easy. 
then when they in in the between you can use some other methods like sensor fusion and IMU based so when it's not abstracted or when it's abstracted you're using the IMU data you don't need any references beacons IMU data is uh, quickly uh, accumulating the error uh, but you can settle the error later on when the beacon uh, let's say there the pack is back for this area so the error will be accumulated uh, so the accumulated error will be cancelled and you will be able so it's a pretty complex sensor fusion but possible uh, but it always assumes something what does it assume it assumes that uh, the pack will be not uh, closed uh, from tracking for too long time for example more than one second or more than two seconds otherwise uh, their uh, accumulated IMU error will be too high and instead of here the pack will be you know measured somewhere there or there or whatever so far far from the distance and um, uh, when you hit and the pack is flying very very quickly uh, then it's another story so you may have location update with say typical 8 hertz or 10 hertz but with the flying speed of whatever 20 meters per second so it meant that if you have 8 hertz so between the location updates okay let me remove these things between the location updates you will have one location here and then 20 meters per second so 20 divided by 8 whatever 2 point something so the next location will be in 2.5 meters so pretty large so it meant that you need a very fast uh, update rate for example 100 hertz which is very difficult to achieve possible mostly by IMU fusion so in this case it will be uh, whatever 20 centimeters uh, between the locations which is already much much better um, uh, but then there's trade-off because in this case you will not be able to filter uh, if there is a sense of fusion so it may start uh, accumulating the error so it, in this case it will be measuring ultrasound based position but uh, IMU based it, it may already move to this and then it will produce so overall point and overall message is the following yes it's possible simply remember uh, what exactly you want to track and uh, uh, what trade-offs you are ready to live with let's remove this and let's make the task slightly simpler let's make that I don't want to track my pack I want to track people yes this is much much easier task you can employ uh, install the mobile beacons somewhere in the helmets or somewhere even under the uh, this the closing and then you would be able to track pretty easily by installing the station beacons on the ceiling and the mobile beacons uh, inside their uh, inside the close yes it's possible in this case abstraction is um, you know, theoretically possible because you know pile ups and all these competition type of things uh, but for the hockey pretty easy so tracking players yes tracking of uh, puck yes but with many many restrictions many trades off and many uh, uh, pot potential limitations thank you very much